Hi, this is Ethan from Printed Village, and today I'm going to show you guys how to build textures from photographs using the clone stamp tool in Photoshop. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, and then Place. I'm going to place a photograph that has a texture that I like in it. In this case, a tree trunk. I'm just going to size this down a little. Hit Enter. I'm going to go ahead and rasterize the layer also. And then finally, I'm going to hit Command Shift U to desaturate it. Okay, move that over. Now I'm going to go over to the toolbar and grab the Clone Stamp tool. You can also get it under the hotkey S. Now on a new layer, I'm going to hold down Option and select a point on this image to start stamping from. You'll see what that means in a second. So I just click here. And now over here on the side, I draw, and you can see that it's it's duplicating the layer. You, you can see this little uh, cross moving on the side that shows me where I am on the image. Now once I get a decent amount of that down, I'm going to use the clone stamp tool again, holding down option, click here, and I can just keep building this texture outwards. Again, real, you can really do this for as long as you need to. It, it builds up pretty convincing textures. Depending on how accurate you are, you can, you can get it closer or further from what you want. All right, so I think that's about enough to demonstrate. And finally, I'm just going to delete this image. Wrong layer. Go up to this layer. Uh, reduce the opacity to about 40%. And then to color this in the color that I want, drag out the marquee tool, create a new layer behind that, and then just select a nice brown color. And now you have a texture that you can repeat outwards endlessly with the clone stamp tool. It's, it's way more accurate than if you'd drawn it yourself. All right, so I hope this helps you guys with doing your woodland patterns. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.